Hello again. In this video, we will see how to filter data frame rows, and we will use a data frame like this one, and we will filter by one column and two or more columns. We will explore the using of brackets notation and the lock function, the search values in a set using the is in function, and finally the and or and exclusive or, usually called shore operators. To give you a little context, I am importing pandas here, then I am loading this CSV file productsold.csv into this df, and here I am printing the data frame, this data frame, okay? So let's go forward and we have here the section where we will do the filter by one column and our code goes here, and the section where we will filter by two or more columns, okay? For the first part, let's define a condition that is equals to data frame, open brackets, and let's filter by star rank when it is higher than 4.5 and then we can print the data frame and we pass the condition. If we go here and run, we get this result. Let's understand what happened here. And we have this, and this actually is returning a list of booleans of true or false. Let me pass here a code that is equivalent. This code is equivalent to this, okay? So here we are declaring a list and we are iterating over the star rank column. If the rank is higher than 4.5, it will append true to the condition list. If not, it will append false to the condition list. So we are passing a list of booleans of true and false to the data frame here. Okay, so with this we can filter the data frame. Let me comment this. We are here printing all the columns of the data frame and we want to print just one column. So to do that, we must add here a brackets and say that we want to print, for example, the name of product. And if, for example, you want to print two columns, how to do that? We copy this again and we must remove this guy and we add a list here. Okay, and we passed here the name of product and also we want to see the star rank. If we go here and if we run, we got this result. And this is the first result where we have all the columns. This is the second result where we just have the name of the product. And here is the third result where we have the name of the product and also the star rank. We are using here the brackets notation, okay, because we have here brackets, and we now will see how to use the lock function. And it's almost the same thing, we just say print data frame and we call the lock function, we open brackets and we pass the condition, that is a list of true or false, okay? If we run this, we got this result is exactly the same thing, okay? Now let's select just one column and two columns with the lock function. And is almost the same thing as the other case. We just have to go here, copy the name of the product and add this. For the second scenario, we copy the list and go here and we paste here. Notice, notice here is a list and here is just one string. In the previous case is the same thing. So let's run this. And we got this result. The first one is all the columns, the second one is just the name of the product column, and the third one is the name of the product and the star rank. So we have two ways to do the filter, using the brackets notation and using the lock function, okay? This lock function can do a lot of things, but I will not explore those things here, okay? Now let's see the another way to do the filter using the isIn function. And let's print the data frame, open brackets, data frame dot, for example, for example, the department, department, and isIn, 
for example, art and fashion. And these will select all the rows that have art and fashion in the department column. We run this and we got this result where we just have the fashion and art in the department, okay? So let's go to the final exercise and we go down and we want to filter two or more columns. If you don't know how the AND OR and EXCLUSIVE OR works, well, this is very easy. You have two conditions and you want to evaluate the two conditions with the AND operator. It will be always true if both are true. If at least one is false, it will return false. If you are working with the OR operator, it will return always true if it finds at least one true, okay, but if both are false, it will be false. The SHOR operator is when they are different, okay? So if one is false and the other is true, or the reverse, one is true and the other is false, it will return true. But if they are equals, false, false, or true, true, it will always return false. We want to filter two or more columns, okay? By two or more columns. And we will filter by star rank and total cells, okay? It's almost the same thing, print, and we say that we have here the data frame, we open the bracket, and inside of the brackets we say that data frame star rank is higher than 3, and also this is the end, is not the usual Python hand, is the binary hand, data frame total cells is higher than 200. If we run this, we got this result, okay? where the total cells are higher than 200 and the star rank is higher than 3. Also, you can use another operation. This is the OR operation and this is the SHOR operation. Don't forget to give a like to this video and subscribe if you are not subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching.